Hello to everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss when the Huckel rule is applicable. Huckel rule for aromaticity. When we have to apply, what is the condition for Huckel rule? Now, first of all, what is Huckel rule? Huckel rule must have 4n plus 2 pi electrons, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, Huckel rule is applicable for, for monocyclic compound. Whenever there is a one ring containing compound, we have to check Huckel rule is applicable or not. Second, it is applicable for perimeter resonance. Huckel rule is applicable for monocyclic compound and for those compound in which any one of the RS has perimeter resonance. Means there are two important things. Huckel rule is applicable for first of all monocyclic and second when there is a perimeter resonance. Now what is perimeter resonance? Let us discuss with the help of example. First of all, write in your notes, Huckel rule is applicable for monocyclic and perimeter resonance. Any one of the RS, any one of the RS means resonating structure has perimeter resonance. RS means perimeter resonance. Now let us discuss this. Is this a monocyclic compound? So let us discuss the example of benzene. It is a monocyclic compound? Yes, it is a monocyclic. Monocyclic means one ring. Huckel rule is applicable. Yes, we have to check Huckel rule. 6 pi electron is a Huckel number. All are planar sp2 delocalization. Yes, it is aromatic. What about this example? It is a monocyclic. No, it is not monocyclic. But any one of the RS has perimeter resonance. In naphthalene, this is a perimeter resonance, circumference resonance. Now, in circumference, there are 10 pi electron cyclic planar. Therefore, it is also a aromatic. Yes, we will apply Huckel rule on complete molecule because of perimeter resonance. Now, let us consider the second example. This is an anthracene. We have to check Huckel rule is applicable or not. First, Huckel rule is applicable for monocyclic compound. Is it a monocyclic compound? No, it is not a monocyclic compound. Second, Huckel rule is applicable for any one of the RS has perimeter resonance. If I check resonance, any one of the resonating structure has perimeter resonance. Yes, there is a perimeter resonance. How many pi electron in perimeter resonance? 14 pi electron. Cyclic planar. This means it is a aromatic. Now we have to apply Huckel rule on complete molecule because of this perimeter resonance. Got it? Now let us consider a third example. This is all, all uh, given in our Solomon book, a very famous example. We have to check whether it is aromatic or not. So what we have to do? We have to check monocyclic compound. No, it is not a monocyclic. Any one of the RS has perimeter resonance. Yes, there is a perimeter resonance. This pi, 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 pi. How many pi, pi bond on perimeter resonance? 4, 8, 12 and 2, 14. Yes, it is a Huckel number. 4 and plus 2 pi electron. So yes, we will apply Huckel rule. Now what happen if I remove this pi bond? It is aromatic molecule because of circumference resonance, perimeter resonance, 14 pi electron. Now what happen? If I remove this pi bond, it remain aromatic or not? If I remove this pi bond, the central pi bond, it is aromatic or not? Yes, it is aromatic. Why? When we apply Huckel rule, it is applicable for monocyclic compound or for perimeter resonance. In Huckel, which electron will be counted? Those are on the perimeter. We will not count any electron in the center of the molecule or outside the molecule. We have to calculate perimeter resonance. Got it? So this means whether it is a pi bond or not, in both cases it is aromatic. Now let us consider one more example. It is aromatic or not? Yes, it is aromatic. Because of 6 pi electron. What about this styrene? It is aromatic? Yes, it is aromatic. Because of this 6 pi electron. Now, still it is aromatic. Because it is a monocyclic compound, so we will apply Huckel rule across ring, monocyclic ring only, not outside the ring, not on the center of the ring. The purpose of taking this example is, I want to explain you that during aromaticity, we have to count the ring current, means circumference electron, not the center electron or not the electron outside the ring. Now what happens if I connect this with ring? It is aromatic or not? Now this is the molecule, this is the J advanced question and very tricky question, this one. First of all, we have to check whether we have to apply Huckel rule on complete molecule or not. 
Now, it is a monocyclic compound. No, it is not a monocyclic compound because of two ring. Got it? Is there any perimeter resonance? Is there is a perimeter resonance? No, it is not a perimeter resonance. Then what we have to do? Then we have to check the pi electron across the one of the ring only. Across complete ring, we have to check pi bond only when there is a complete perimeter resonance. Just like this, just like this, just like this. If there is no perimeter resonance, then we will count across one ring. Yes, this ring is aromatic because of there is a loop of 6 pi electron. We will not count this pi bond in aromaticity. Got it? Which pi electron is to count? Which is the ring current? Ring current. The ring current is due to this. And since there is no circumference resonance, so we will not apply Huckel rule on complete molecule. We will apply Huckel rule only on one ring. Now let me explain one more example. Let us take example of, very famous example of biphenyl. How many pi electrons are in this biphenyl? I want to explain you when to apply Huckel rule. How many pi electrons? 12 pi electron. Got it? Okay. Now, first of all, in order to apply Huckel rule, what is the condition? First, is it a monocyclic compound? No, it is not a monocyclic. There are two rings. Second, is there is a perimeter resonance? Perimeter resonance. Now, is there any perimeter resonance? No, it is not a perimeter resonance. Because if I draw perimeter resonance, it is an unstable RS. This is not a perimeter resonance because of unstable. In perimeter resonance, the resonating structure must be stable. Then how to apply, how to check aromaticity? What we have to do? This peri If there is a perimeter resonance, then we will apply aromaticity in complete molecule. Now, since it is not a perimeter resonance, what we have to do, we have to apply aromaticity across individual ring. In this ring, this is a 6 pi electron cyclic planar. This ring is aromatic. Similarly, in this ring, there is a 6 pi electron cyclic planar. This ring is also aromatic. Now, biphenyl has two rings and both individual ring will be aromatic. So, what about the overall biphenyl? Overall biphenyl is aromatic because in this case, both individual ring are aromatic. We will not count complete pi electron. Complete pi electron is counted when there is a perimeter resonance. You got my point? So write in your notes. Biphenyl is aromatic and we have to apply on the individual ring. This is a very important concept. It can be asked in exam which molecule follows Huckel rule. Which molecule completely follow Huckel rule. Then you have to apply these two conditions. Now similarly last one, fourth one, is this a monocyclic, no monocyclic, is there a perimeter resonance, yes perimeter resonance, how many electron in perimeter, 6, 4 and 4, it is a 10, it is a 14 pi electron, it is a aromatic, now we have to apply Huckel rule on complete molecule or individual ring, we have to apply Huckel rule on complete molecule because of perimeter resonance. And the most famous example is this pyrene. Got it? Now that's all for today. Thank you.